Hello, how's it going everybody? Today we have an amazing problem for you guys. We're going to be talking about monotonic array. So let's see what it's all about, right? It says an array is monotonic if it is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing, right? Okay. An array nums is monotone increasing if all, if for all i is less than or equal to j and nums of i is less than or equal to nums of j. Or an, an array is monotone decreasing if or all i is less than j and nums of i is greater than or equal to nums of j okay so what they're basically saying here guys in simple terms is you're saying that if uh, an array to be considered monotone right it means that for each element its next element is going to be the same or greater than right greater than or equal to its value okay so for example say you've got something like uh one one uh two right this is well, this would be a monotone increasing array because, you know, for each element, right, except the last one, right, uh, the next element is equal or greater than it, right? See, for one, the next element is equal to it. For one, for this one, the next element is greater, right? Greater than or equal. So that's what's considered uh, alter increasing, right? And what, and what they meant by decreasing, they meant uh, just the reverse for logic, right? So you got three three, two, right? Same thing. So for each each element, its next element is going to be less than, right? Right? Or equal to uh let's see what we have here guys, right? Might be less than or equal to uh the value of the right. So that's what this is guys, right? Each element, the next value is gonna be less than or equal to it, right? Well, same logic so let's continue. So given an array nums, right? Uh, return true if the given array is monotonic or return false otherwise okay very interesting so how do we go do that right so we're going to be given an array and our job is to make sure that the to return true or not if the array is monotone right so let's, let's go through for example so we can solidify the ask all right so we're given this array uh, we can see that this is a monotonically uh increasing array guy because you know each element right the, the next the next element is greater than or equal to it right so we see for each element that's the case right you know you can see that uh it's more turn true okay because it's mon it's going to go under one it's monotone monotonic right now this example is the reverse one right which is in it's decreasing so we turn true right and for this one uh we see that you know it starts to increase and then it decreases right so because of that return false guy right because it's not monotonic it's not monotone so it should be monotone right monotonic Okay, that's the whole point of it, right? So it looks like uh, from the examples we, we went through, right? You know, for it to be uh, true, right? It has to be either non decreasing or not increasing, right? So uh, it can't be both at the same time. If it is, right? Then that's when we get the case which is false, guys, right? You know, when it's like uh, the both cases, guys, right? Which is not good, right? So that's our job, right? So how do we go ahead and solve it, guys? Or how do we find out if the array is monotonic? So first, we're just gonna start with the most straightforward way. I mean, most intuitive way possible of doing it, right? So we know we need to do uh, some passes in the array, right? You know, the one pass, two pass, three passes. Uh, uh, that's what we're gonna talk about. So intuitively, right? What I'm thinking is to check, right? We need to check if if it's one or the other, right? So yeah, maybe we could, like I was saying, you could do two passes, right? And also the first pass we check, is the array monotonically increasing, right? Uh, we do a check, so we call a function that calls on this, right? We pass this array and then we check, is it monotonically increasing? So if it's monotonically increasing, right? All the numbers, uh, its next number is going to be greater than or equal to it, right? So if we encounter a case while we're looking through the array, right, where uh, that case is then validated, right? Which is uh, for a particular element, right? It's greater than its next element. Then we know that, you know, it's not automatically increased, right? So we return false right away, guys, right? And we do the same logic when we check for is it monotonically decreasing, right? Which is if there's an element, right? Right? That is, um, if it's monotonically decreasing, right? If it's less than, its next number then we know that it's not a decreasing right it's actually increasing so this will return false right away guys right you know 
So we quickly show you guys the code. So, so here's the code. Uh, so this is we have a simple function uh, where we call two functions. So we just check is it monotonically increasing, right? Which is you know uh, if it's, it's non decreasing, right? It's not a way to say it, right? So uh, and while we're checking if it's non decreasing, right? Which is monotonically increasing, right? If we encounter a case where the number is greater than its next number there, right? That's the false case, right? Return false right away. And if it's not increasing, right, which is monotonically decreasing, right? That's the case that we're asking. Uh, we return uh, false if we encounter a number that is less than its next number, right? So we know it's not that, right? So this is good. This is pretty decent. Uh, this is actually two passes. This is actually not too bad. But I think we could do a little bit better, right? You know, uh, how do we improve uh, the time? Uh, you know, instead of having two passes, can we do it in one, right? Is there, is there an easier way of doing it, guys, right? Uh, so there's another way we could also do it, guys, right? Which is going to be kind of using the same thought process that we were doing here, guys, right? So we're going to start off by saying, all right, for a particular, um, so for an array, right, we could use a couple flags, right? So we have two flags. So that flag that says the array is monotonically increasing. Right, so we could do a check, right? And a flag that also says is monotonically uh, decreasing, right? So initially, we're gonna set them to true, right? And uh, we're gonna do a linear loop through the array, just like we were doing just now, right? And as we're looping through, guys, we're gonna do a couple checks, right? If we in encounter a case where, uh, say, for example, this one, right? We see that um, uh, this number is less than this number, right? So we know that the array cannot be monotonically decreasing, right? Because of that case, guys, right? We see here, right? So we would automatically just say, all right, that it must be false then, right? It's false because, no, it says that um, we see the case that uh, it looks like it's increasing just now, right? And then while we continue looping, we don't stop there, right? We continue looping through, right? And uh, we see the case, right? This number is greater than this number, right? Which means that... um. It must not be increasing, right? So we would put that false as well, right? And by the time we end up looping through the whole array, guys, right? Both flags will be false, guys, right? Which means they're both invalidated, right? And which means that no, there's not one, uh, you know, one or the other, right? You know, it's actually, it's kind of both, right? One is uh, one part of the array is increasing and another part of the array is decreasing, right? Which would mean that it might not be monotonic. Right? Monotonic mean means one, guys, right? It's either non decreasing or non increasing, right? Which means a mon monotonic. It's monotone, guys, right? So the code is going to be very simple, right? So let's quickly get into it, guys. So it, Boolean, Boolean value. So is increasing, right? We're going to set those to true. So is that clever way of doing it, guys, right? It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. And non decreasing, right? So we're going to set that to true as well. So we're going to do a linear loop through the array. Uh, linear loop, pretty simple. I plus plus. And now we're going to do a check, right? If uh, nums of i is greater than nums of uh, i plus one, right? If that's the case, guys, right? Nums of i is greater than the next number right we know that it must not be increasing so we're going to sync equals to false guys right and otherwise we're also going to do a check guys right if nums of i right is less than nums of uh, i plus one then we know that it must not be decreasing so let's turn that to false guys right and then at the end, right, where it's going to be useful for us, right, we're going to check. Either we want only one of them, right? If one of them is good, then we're good, right? So if it's either or, if it's decreasing or increasing, then we return true. If they're both false, or they're both invalidated, then we return false, guys, right? Because now they're true, guys, right? So, right, so uh, let's press uh, do minus one as well because we're doing the i plus one, so we're going to get index out of bounds. Let's press run code, see if we pass this small test case. Also, let's press submit. Awesome, guys. We're about to pass all these test cases, guys. All right, if you guys found value, you guys enjoyed this video, let me know that in the comment section. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of other videos.
just like this one. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.